name of Jesus. Glory, hallelujah. As a matter of fact, you know, in order for us to be in Christ, that we have to be sealed with by him who is the Holy Ghost. Y'all all right? Amen. Bless the name of Jesus. Want to move up just a little bit to this dispensation or this time uh, uh, round of the, well, of course we know at the beginning of the book of Acts, we find that the Holy Ghost is present. Y'all all right? Bless the name of Jesus. As a matter of fact, uh, when uh, uh, they were in the upper room, of course the Holy Ghost came upon them and they spoke in diverse tongues. Y'all all right? Amen. That's the name of Jesus. Some folk have a problem with that. Glory, hallelujah. But they spoke in diverse tongues. And there's a theological discussion as to whether or not we were talking about different languages or whether or not there's some sort of unknown tongue. Are you with me here? Amen. Oh, glory, hallelujah. And it says that they were all filled with the Holy Ghost. And it talks about the place being shaken. And that's, that's the part that I want you to look at. The, the place being shaken, they're all filled with the Holy Ghost. They were, folk were figuring that they were drunk up. Amen. Because the Holy Ghost had moved. The Holy Ghost came. Amen. Are you with me? Amen. So there is a supernatural move. <laughs> Lord have mercy. That's available to Christians that's not available to anybody else. Oh, oh glory. Hallelujah. And he is, in fact, the enabler. I want to look at this in, in this uh, eighth chapter of the book of Acts. Amen. As we move along, I'm going to get out your way real quick. Don't worry, I'm not going to be here too much longer. But, but nonetheless, what had happened was Brother Stephen had been stoned prior to. Are you with me? Uh, it, and, and it seems as though that uh, the Christians had been scattered abroad is what the eighth chapter starts off with, how, how the Christians were scattered abroad. Y'all okay? Talks about some of the devout men. Uh, carried Stephen to his burial and, and made a great uh, lamentation over him. And, and uh, it talked about how Saul, he wreaked havoc on the church. Y'all okay? Yes. And it talks about the fact that uh, Philip, uh, in verse 5, he went down uh, to the city of Samaria and he preached Christ unto them. And the folk, they actually received Christ. And then it goes in and talks about uh, Unclean spirits crying out with loud voice uh, came out of many that were possessed with them, and many uh, uh, were, that were taken with the palsy and, and that were lame were healed. Sounds like a miraculous move of the Holy Ghost. Bless the name of Jesus. When the doctor gave up and said it's over, shook his head, uh, 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 and the Holy Spirit can raise you up. Lord have mercy. I told you, y'all, y'all, y'all gonna, y'all gonna get messed up today. Amen. Bless the name of Jesus, cause the Holy Spirit can do a miraculous work. Lord have mercy. And if we believe the Word of God, and we believe that He is God, then we have to believe that the Holy Ghost can and will do a miraculous work if you're saved and in Christ Jesus. Anyhow. It's by the power of the Holy Ghost. So you have experienced the Holy Ghost whether you know it or not. Bless the name of Jesus. Well, for if you're in Christ, then you have experienced the Holy Ghost. Lord have mercy. For when you receive Christ, you receive the fullness of the Godhead bodily. And the fullness of the Godhead bodily includes the Father, Son, and the Holy Ghost. Bless the name of Jesus. Y'all okay with me? Y'all, y'all, y'all all right? I'm about there. I'm about there. Don't worry. Amen. And then it talks about uh, this certain man, amen, by the name of Simon. Are you with me? Uh, which before time in the same uh, city uh, used sorcery, amen, and bewitched the people uh, of Samaria, amen. Him and that girl, I don't know what's her name is, she, she might have something in common with him, amen. Bless the name of Jesus. But, but nonetheless, uh, they're talking about sorcery and, and witchcraft. Uh, O'Donnell, and then it, yeah, bless the name of Jesus. <laughs> glory, hallelujah. Bless the name of Jesus. Oh, glory, hallelujah. Uh, but, but here we are, here we are. To whom they all gave heed. They listened. And, and from uh, the least to the greatest, saying, This man 
is the great power of God. Are you with me? And to him, they uh, they regarded him because of you know his dealings and witchcraft and whatnot. Are you with me here? And it says, but when they believed, Philip was preaching the things concerning the kingdom of God and the name of Jesus Christ. They were baptized, both men and women. Then Simon himself believed. That's the one who was involved in the witchcraft. And, and are you with me here? Yes. Yes. Said Simon himself believed, and he was baptized. He continued with Philip and wondered, beholding the miracles and the signs which were done. All right. Are you with me? Yes. Oh Lord, have mercy. And now when the apostles were there and Jerusalem heard uh, what was going on in Samaria, how they had received the word of God, they sent them Peter and John, who when they were come down, prayed for them that they might receive the Holy Ghost. Right. Isn't that what the text says? Yeah. Bless the name of Jesus. In that 15th verse, it says that they might receive, they had heard about the Holy Ghost. So are you with me? Yeah. Uh, they hadn't heard about the Holy Ghost. They heard about Jesus. Are you with me? Right. And they had received Jesus. Yeah. Now they needed some power to walk in the Spirit. Yeah. Oh Lord have mercy. Even though there was, they, they had already been baptized by the Holy Ghost. Are you with me? They didn't know that they had been baptized in Christ by His Spirit. Right. Lord have mercy. But now they needed an anointing. Right. Oh, Lord, have mercy. There's one baptism, but there's many anointings or fillings. Yes. Are you with me here? Yes. There are many uh, times that he will equip you or enable you to walk the walk and talk the talk. Yes. Oh, Lord, have mercy. Yes. Bless the name of Jesus. Yes. So it says that they... Uh, that they might receive the Holy Ghost. For as yet he had not fallen upon none of them, only they were baptized in the name of the Lord Jesus. Right. Oh, Lord, have mercy. So, so there was uh, some uh, dormant power, as it were, within them that they, were not, uh, that they had not yet recognized. Right. Are you with me? Amen. Oh, Lord, have mercy. They needed the, the anointing of the Holy Ghost. As a matter of fact, the text goes on to say that uh, uh, the Peter and the boys, uh, they laid hands on them and they received the Holy Ghost. Yes. Yes. Are you with me here? Amen. Peter and John came down and said, look, y'all need something. Y'all need a little extra around here. Uh, y'all need some extra. Are you with me here? Uh, Lord have mercy. What you got is all right. Bless the name of Jesus. You're in Christ, and that's good, but you need the power of the Holy Ghost. You need to know how to walk in the Spirit. You need to be enabled to do. Oh, Lord, have mercy. So uh, John uh, and Peter, they came down and laid some hands on some folk. Bless the name of Jesus. So they might receive the Holy Ghost.